Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 25th of January and today we are bringing in three glitcher officers while killing as few people as possible. We are technophobe, our guns are silenced, we're ex-sovereign. And we got a nice conk hammer, a few crash beams, and some visitors. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Explosive, doesn't matter. We can pick up some more melee weapons. Uh, we'll pick up one gun because glitcher ships sometimes have good engines to break out of at the end. Autopilot, that doesn't matter. Oh, no alarm response. Alright. Take a quick look at the ship. It's a bit of an annoying docking spot. Don't really like the ones on the edge because I sometimes miss. Okay, fine. All right, so we're going to be trying to go through this daily uh, relatively quickly as I am on break at work. Let's throw this. Give some bashings. All right, let's take a quick look. There's a lot of stuff over there. That is a lot of stuff. I like a lot of stuff. We're going there. We can just ignore them. Sadly, we can't kill people. Otherwise, we could just shoot up there. I guess I'll go around this way. Hello. 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 Because I don't necessarily have to take everybody out. There's no alarm response. Bash, bash, and let's pick this up. More the merrier. Bash, more crash beams. Very nice. And all right, go up here so we can get a better angle and get all of this loot. Oh, all right. Well, there's a slipstream. That makes things uh much simpler and really enables us. Oh, put that to the wrong slot really enables us to actually get through this pretty quickly. Very nice. We have limited uses, but uh, five ought to be plenty. And even if we run out, we've still got... Uh, whatchamacallit. Ooh, concussive. Nice. Uh, even if we run out, we've still got the conk hammer and other melee weapons. All right, so we'll run on here, try to pay attention so that we don't get shot by the turret. And then, ooh, this looks like a pretty good place to go without having to use another slipstream charge. All right, let's slow down a bit. Stop here, and I, uh, not sure what I did, but I lost a slipstream. That's fine. Ooh. Getting a little bit close there. There we go. Okay, can we get down here? We've got a long range crash beam. Yeah, so so for safety, dash down here, then crash you. And go down here. And go. Loop. And loop. That's right, we're silenced. And then this is concussive, so loop. Uh, one thing I will do, eh, I don't think it'll matter too much. Uh, now let's let's pick up the gun. We'll pick up this gun. Uh, 
and then throw it. Uh, I probably messed that up. Oh well. What could go wrong? Alright, we need to pick up all three of us. Alright, perfect. 16 seconds, that's a bit long. Oh, no, well. Okay, so we've got emergency shields, heat sensors. We're just trying to not kill people, so that should be just fine. Uh, our inventory is full of relevant stuff, so we won't check the stash. And only one entryway. We've got two visitors, that's something to consider. But on the other hand, we have... Oh, you're orbiting. That's a 20 second alarm response time that I should have noticed. Okay, so one thing... That's a possibility. Eh. Yeah, visitors aren't as helpful because we do need to capture you. Probably use two slipstreams on this ship. One to get down here. And then one to bring you down here, because we've got no nearby exits other than that. So, yeah, let's run down here, I think. Ooh, you're a bit out of the way. So we'll run down here. And then run over here and be very thankful that we have a concussive weapon now. That alarm response time is... Not great. But there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, there's something I can do about it. But I won't do anything about it. Uh, will we? It's possible we'll get here in time to take out the pilot? Not sure about that, though. Odd. That's a little bit late on that. Oh, we were on time. Very cool. Okay, now we do not have much time to get this moving. Okay, so let's go with a bash, then go with a bash, and then go with a bash, and pick you up. Walk over here. I should have stacked the pod. I thought about doing it earlier, but then I did not. Okay, so we'll activate this, pick you up. You can do some pathfinding here. Can you do... Can you continue doing that after? Hmm. So it might be that if you're already in a pathfinding while carrying a body, it continues afterwards. You can't enter throw mode, but as long as you're in live action, that might work. Huh. That is good to know. Armor everywhere, that's not good for us. Well, at least as far as the guard is concerned. The capture target, that is. Okay, so we've got the conk hammer. Ooh, wrench could be useful here. We can't pick up any more guns, though. We've got crash beam. What have we got here? Did we take the other crash? We didn't even take that last guy's crash beam, I think. Okay. Mm. I really want to wrench. I don't think I'm using these visitors. 
All right. I don't know if I'll need the wrench, but it's good to have. Visitor might be good for this. And eh, now we can run. We can just run through there just fine. They're orbiting around this station, but it's a long response time, so we've got plenty of room, and I'm totally overshooting it because I am rushing. Oof, five seconds. Oh well. We'll let the alarm go off soon. Just need to make sure that they don't shoot the non-armored one. Uh, this is a decent place to go down. Over here's pretty, uh, pretty okay. Anywhere in particular? Okay, we've got you next to a window. That's good. I can go down here, I can crash you potentially, go down here, yeah, I think going down here is just fine, uh, none of you are going to shoot them, I just need to be wary of being shot myself, including right here. Now. We did lose our thing early. Oh, of course you're going off. That is rude. I'm gonna start shooting you just to get the stagger going. Deactivate. Shoot you. Take your key. And then make my way over here. Wow, that's turning quite a bit. Take the key, and then just run down there. Yeah, just run down here. Mmm. Having second thoughts now. I, I might be able to, we'll, we'll see how far the range is on my crash beam. That is not nearly long enough. So, we're changing directions. We could visit... No. Not doing that. Ship is still evening out. Don't like you. Hi. And then we'll run down here. Looks like the ship's mostly evened out. So, we'll remote control. And get it. What is that marker? Is that where the ship's heading to? That might be where the ship's heading to. Okay. Then we just need you right there. And then... Just need to take care of you. So, we'll start off with a gun. Just to get you moved in the right general direction. Then we'll conk you. Then we'll slipstream to keep up a bit. And just have better control over the situation. Give you the next shot. And then we'll have to pick you up manually, but eh, this will be fine. All right. All right, 15 seconds, eh, that's, that's all right. I'm not sure what happened on ship one to cause it to take 16 seconds. Maybe I just went a fair bit out of the way for it. But hey, we did that very fast in out of game time. 43 seconds, so 598. Here's where we currently stand, but we've got a couple hours left in the day, so we'll see how it stacks up later. Today, today was the, or yesterday, today is the 25th, right? 
Yeah, yesterday we got a 599. Very nice. This was an easy Sunday. I believe we had a slipstream there as well. I think so. Yeah, we had three slipstreams for the whole mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, quite happy with that. Always happy with the 599. And we have me in first, Zazaza in second, JPEG Dog in third, I go unseen in fourth, and Wobbly Goat Cheese in fifth. That is a name I do not recognize. Good job to everybody in the top five. And that is the end of today's daily challenge. A nice and quick one. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.